everyone Ho'oponopono continued part 12 now today it's on spiritual intelligence the aim of Ho'oponopono and the Aloha principle is to stop making judgments in the sense of appreciation and to strengthen the capacity for discrimination spiritual intelligence with which is the higher understanding of spiritual laws and the unity of all being is reinforced by Ho'oponopono's four magic sentences I'm sorry please forgive me I love you thank you features of this form of intelligence are level-headedness a good capacity for the assessment of the self and our own powers that we will absolutely not harm ourselves or others as well as a good capacity for discriminating between what is beneficial and what hinders our development an old fable demonstrates how quickly we can harm ourselves and others if we do not possess, for example, a good capacity for discrimination. A camel was drinking some water from a river when a scorpion spoke to him. Oh, dear camel, I must get very urgently to the other side of the river. My aunt is sick and is expecting me. Only I can help her in her need because I know how to cook a good soup. Camels are known far and wide to be the best swimmers. Please be merciful and carry me across. Hmm. You're a scorpion and I'm afraid that if I let you climb on my back to take you across, you will sting me and then I must die. Answer the camel. To which the scorpion replied, Oh, how can you think I would do such a thing? If we are right in the middle of the river and I sting you, I will drown too. Trust me, I need you. After these words, the camel knelt down and the scorpion clambered up on one of his humps. The camel waded into the river. The two engaged in conversation and the scorpio had much to say about his family. When the camel and the scorpion had got to the middle of the river, the scorpion let his sting sparkle in the sun and stung with all his might. His face distorted by pain, the camel asked, Why have you done that? Now we must both drown. The scorpion replied, I could not do otherwise. We humans are not what we do once. We are what we do over and over again. We are our habits. Through the formal model of Ho'oponopono, we attain the necessary state of rest and relaxation to be able to say no. <sighs> A Ho'opono exercise. In the following short but very powerful exercise, we will see Ho'oponopono operating as an inner dialogue that creates a new program for our unconscious actions. It is a conversation with our subconscious as, or as the Hawaiians say, a conversation with our inner child. If you have recognized yourself in the story of the camel or know someone who is glad to do things for others and yet remains unsatisfied because no one fulfills their needs, it is a good opportunity to do a ho'oponopono. In this exercise, we want forgiveness for having in the past cared insufficiently for ourselves and our own needs. We forgive ourselves and others for having uttered reproaches. Please lean back a moment and enter your heart and then ask for forgiveness for having cared too little for your health. Say the four magic sentences. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And repeat the exercise for all issues that come to mind. Lovely. So, Ho'oponopono, dissolving the part of ourselves that create external situations. So, we're getting close to the end of this series. And I hope that you have been able to apply it to certain things that aren't working, rather than looking at other people and what they're doing, what they're not doing. Looking at what you're not getting, looking at that you don't feel deserving and worthy. Work on it within you. That is the best way to get it to dissolve on the outside. All right. Lots of love, everybody. <laughs>